Hey everybody, it's Ben and I'm working on my hybrid uh, diesel electric pickup truck project. Let's take a quick look at uh, trying to figure out how to get the engine and transmission together. So what I've got here is I've uh, taken measurements of uh, kind of the main different parts, the driven shaft and the transmission, the uh, thickness of the flywheel, things like that, but nothing really quite meets the real world. I've got this four-cylinder diesel engine out of the Mercedes 240D. And this is the five-speed manual transmission out of the Chevy S10 pickup truck. I've got them both in my garage on furniture dollies so I can move them around, get them out of my way, and then also blocked up so that they're pretty darn close to matching up. I was actually able to push them together and just uh, spring clamp them there. And I was able to, right here, this hole is uh, where the clutch cable goes through, but without it there, it makes a little viewing port. And I was actually able to look through there and, uh, you know, with the help of a flashlight and squinting, getting just the right angle, I was able to see that I was getting the driven shaft and the transmission to line up right in the middle of that uh, hole in the crankshaft, uh, right through the middle of the flywheel. And if we come down here, this is where the starter would have been on the S10. Now on the Mercedes, it's uh, exactly on the opposite side. But down here, um, I can see it looks like there's enough clearance for the flywheel. It actually seems to fit in there pretty darn well. Um, also, the bottom of the transmission to the bottom of the engine meet up pretty close to each other. Um, I know it's not, not perfect, but it's pretty close for just a couple of wood blocks and fitting this together. And then uh, if we look around on the other side of the transmission, this side is where the, uh, the starter goes on the Mercedes diesel engine, but of course uh, that's not where it goes on the, uh, the manual transmission, so maybe I have to cut a little piece of the bell out of here for clearance uh, for the starter. So by looking through the, uh, the hole left by the clutch cable, I could see that that shaft was going into the hole in the middle of the crankshaft, but uh, not by much. It was only sticking into it just a little tiny bit, which means what I need to do is i got to get the entire transmission closer to the engine. And this piece here is removable from the engine. It's kind of a big adapter ring held on by four bolts. So I could possibly remove this mill it down, put it back on, and attach this. But on the other hand, you know, all my bolt holes still don't line up. I don't have anything for, for that bolt to go into. So perhaps what I do is basically remove this ring, make a new one that's thinner, matches up with the bolt holes on the engine, and the bolt holes on the transmission, basically making an adapter plate pretty similar to what I did for my electric geometro. Now, unfortunately, here's something else I just figured out the hard way. Um, I had already bought a clutch that the size of this is such that it fits inside the manual um, flywheel on the Mercedes engine, but the splines here match the shaft in the Chevy S10 transmission. And then, of course, this is the clutch cover plate. It goes over that, and this mounts into the... Uh, uh, right onto the flywheel. Um, so all that works. However, uh, one thing I didn't figure out is the size of the kind of grabbing area here versus where these rivets are. And you know, they're the same on both sides. So if I put this on here, those rivets exactly catch on our nice, uh, nice smooth clutch cover surface here. Um, but it's really, really, really close. Close enough, in fact, that maybe what I can do is put this whole thing on a lathe and just take a little tiny bit off of that, and then this will just fit right in there exactly the way it is. If I can't do that, um, I'm going to have to order a different clutch cover, but I'm still going to have to hunt one down um, that's going to fit uh, both the flywheel and this clutch. So I think that's about it for now. Um, I think the plan is going to be to make a custom adapter plate that's going to replace that uh, 
that spacer ring that's uh, already on the engine right now, except it's going to be thinner. Now, exactly how much thinner I still got to figure out. I got to do some careful measuring to figure out what's going to work best here. But uh, take a look at uh, me machining an adapter plate in the hopefully not so distant future. Take care.